You're watching a P. Rob Media production. What's up, Diabetes family? It's your boy, Percy Robinson, coming at you with another smash hit video. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different. I decided to have a friend come over, a special friend come over, and I made this wonderful, amazing dish for her. So I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride, and I'll see you on the other side. Holla at ya, boy. Roll the intro. Welcome back, Diabetes family. As I mentioned before, I have a special guest coming over, so I wanted to make sure I put my A game on. So I decided to prepare a pineapple bowl with jerk cauliflower. So I'm starting off with some dry batter, and then I'm going to have some wet batter as well. I'm using my favorite flour, which is spell flour. It is so much more healthier for you than regular flour. I'm adding some almond milk to finish up my wet batter and I'm giving it a nice little stir to get all the clumps out. We want to make sure all the clumps out. Once we get all the clumps out, I'm going to add my special seasoning. You, if you haven't got this, you better get this seasoning. It is amazing. Now that I got my dry batter and wet batter um, situated, it is time to start my next step and that is getting my baking sheet with my parchment paper and then I'm getting my cauliflower. Yes, it is in bags and sorry, it's not a head of cauliflower. I was in a rush. I was, you know, I'm sorry. Sometimes, sometimes the greats have to take little shortcuts, but this is not a bad shortcut. So now that I have my bagged cauliflower taken out of the bag, I'm just making cuts. I don't want to have this cauliflower having big clumps, so I'm just, you know, making small slices so it fits into the bowl a lot better. So now I'm going to dip it into the wet batter and dry batter. Sorry I'm using my hands. I really should have used a spatula. Not a spatula, but some tongs. And then I'm dipping it back into the wet batter. I'm trying to get a nice strong coating on this cauliflower. When making cauliflower, it is very important that your batter is on point. That's why a lot of people fail at it is because it's not in the batter. So please follow these steps or check out some of my other videos that I give a full instruction on how to make the batter. So again, this process is very tedious, I know, but please take your time during this because we want to make sure our product comes out amazing. You feel me? So my guest arrived and she was a little bit thirsty. So I decided to make her a mos mimosa, pardon me, made from fresh orange juice, not the orange juice you buy in a carton at a store. I'm actually taking the time and I am cutting these oranges and I'm going to juice these oranges because not only is this drink going to make her feel amazing, but it's going to taste amazing. I don't know if you guys ever had mimosas with fresh oranges and how different it tastes from the regular store bought orange juice. Let me know if you want me to do a segment on that leave something in the comments i can show you how to juice some really good juices that taste amazing and it's good for your body so after i ran the oranges through my juicer i got myself a strainer and i'm just going to put it through the strainer and take all the pulp out i don't want my guest chewing on the pulp so this juice is going to be nice refreshing with a little bit of champagne in there you know your boy pulls out all the stops when he is cooking for his guests. I mean, when I have guests. Now, fellas, I want you guys to pay close attention to these next few steps. Because I remember a few videos ago, maybe about a year ago, I did a Valentine's Day episode and I told you guys to take your time, enjoy every moment, 
even have your lady watch you while you're doing it while you're cooking this and this is the important parts you know what i'm saying like they really appreciate you taking the time and the extra step in doing something like this and there we have it now i don't drink but my guest told me that the drink tasted amazing so now off to this next step is I'm going to make the homemade jerk sauce. My cauliflower is in the oven cooking up. So while that is cooking it is the best time for me to make my jerk sauce. So I'm going to take about seven stalks of green onions. Make sure you wash them, of course. Wash your vegetable people. It's very important. I'm going to cut these bad boys in half and then I'm going to add it to the blender. If you are looking for the full recipe to this jerk sauce, it is in my book. I will leave the link below on where you can find it. Or also you can watch my jerk jackfruit video and I will leave the link up top and bottom for you. So now I'm adding my scotch bonnets, peppers. So with the scotch bonnet peppers, if you don't want this um, sauce to be too hot, just take out the seeds. But if you like it hot, keep the seeds in there you know family this is really not a cooking instructional video it is just it's just the vibe for me you know this is just me and my element you know doing what I love to do and I just wanted to share this experience with you you know most of the stuff that I'm cooking and preparing for my guest right now it is all in my book or I've done several videos on each thing that I have done so this is just you know me just in my element just having a good time enjoying really good company something that I haven't really taken advantage of in a long time because I've just been stuck into my work and and building my brand you know it just takes a lot of time you know it's really a lot of time spent alone you know while you're building your brand and working a full-time job and just having somebody that is willing to take the time and come see you you know you have to take advantage of these moments and when you do take advantage of these moments make it count you know what i'm saying like show your guests your appreciation by by making them something amazing now i'm not gonna lie i've never made this particular combination or recipe before i just took a few things out of my cookbook and i just infused everything together i mean i've done the jerk sauce before i've done pineapple bowls before but i never really did like a caribbean style an actual caribbean style putting in a pineapple type of dish now i wanted to really impress my guest because she has seen me cook a lot on video she came up to me and she's like you know what i've never tasted your cooking before and i'm like man all these years i've known you and i've never cooked for you i'm like yo you need to come on by and let me cook for you so I needed to come up with a recipe that would really impress this woman. Now that the sauce went through the taste test approval with my guest, I'm going to put it into the bowl and I am ready to start dipping my cauliflower into this wonderful sauce. Now this sauce tasted amazing. I'm telling you guys, it tasted amazing. I could actually just eat it straight up just like that but I'm gonna put these back in the oven on 400 for 15 minutes depending on your oven you might want to do 20 minutes so now it's time to cut open the pineapple gut the pineapple you know I, I got a multitask you know I have my cauliflower in the oven so I'm just going to go through these steps and look how beautiful this pineapple is, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the best way to gut it is to take your knife, 
go at a 45 degree angle and just start cutting around it. Once you cut around the pineapple and loosen the sides up, you're going to cut in the middle and down the middle, horizontal and vertical. And then we're going to just gently pull everything out. You don't want to cut too deep because you don't want any type of leakage or spillage. So I'm going to juice the rest of these pineapples and add it to my orange juice. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that juice turned out amazing. So I'm going to take my spoon and I'm just going to scrape the excess out and I'm going to put it into the bowl. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I say that I'm in my element, I am in my element. I'm in my zone. I'm like the 93 Bulls and I'm Michael Jordan when I'm in this kitchen. I'm telling you, I love doing what I do. And I think my guests really appreciated watching me do this because this is actually my first live audience of one watching me do this now ladies and gentlemen i am starting my mango salsa this salsa is going to go on top of the cauliflower and what's on the bottom of the cauliflower is my coconut lime quinoa that's going on the bottom like this dish is so refreshing and so healthy ladies and gentlemen and it also tastes amazing you feel me I'm telling you with the fresh cilantro I mean I'm really doing my thing in this kitchen I hate to toot my own horn I don't want to be that guy but <laughs> y'all gotta give me a little bit of credit all I do is cook with fresh ingredients and that's what I'm trying to convey to each and every one of you fresh ingredients are very important not because it tastes great yeah it does taste great but I want you guys to be healthy while being healthy I want you guys to still enjoy those favorite foods that you grew up eating and since we're on the subject of healthy eating I want you guys to remember eat with purpose food is medicine and pay attention to what you put into your body Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the shirt that I am wearing underneath this wonderful, amazing Steeler apron that my daughter bought for me for my birthday, I'll leave the link below on where you can pick them up. The shirts feel amazing and you'll be helping your boy out and the channel. But I want to take the time and thank each and every one of you guys for watching my videos, going to my website, purchasing my book. You guys have been amazing and you guys have made this experience for me life changing. And I'm going to go ahead and end the video on this note. If you eat good, you live good and you feel good. And don't forget to tune in, tell a friend and subscribe. Holla at your boy. Peace.